everyone. Welcome back to SoulCast. My name is Jen Westlake from Soyulair.com, and I'm really happy to be with you today. I know that things are really looking bleak out here in our world, looking scary and very challenging. And I want you to know that this week we are being asked to release and let go. I'm asking you to practice what I call radical surrender. Everything that we think is going on is not as it seems. Spirit has told me for a long time now that nothing is as it seems and everything is basically um, being presented to us in a way that is opposite from the actual truth. And so even though it looks like we are living in very unpredictable and uncertain times, again, spirit is asking us to trust and to have faith and to practice, like I said, radical surrender. Sometimes we have to take the first step in the darkness before God turns on the light. And as a collective humanity, for a while now, we have been in the darkness. But I promise you that things are about ready to turn on a dime. And that everything that looks scary, the truth about it will be revealed. And many things have been happening in our world behind the scenes. And we get a lot of disinformation, misinformation, and we really don't know what is real. And so when we practice radical uh, surrender, we are being asked to really practice discernment. And the way we do that is by going within and asking ourselves, does that feel right? Does that feel true? Or does something feel feel amiss here. We are being asked to strengthen those abilities that we have been given. In each one of us, we have been given the gift to know the difference between right and wrong. And as we practice our discernment, we will know in our hearts what is right and what is not. And so this week, um, we are being asked to just let it all go into God's hands. In fact, earlier I had a practical balance with my friend Janice when she said that this month and during this energy vortex, we are being asked to put out our intention, put out our ideal scenario and results that we would like to see. But basically we needed to turn it over to spirit and ultimately spirit's plan is what's going to happen. Whether we understand it or not, spirit wants to drive the car right now and is basically asking us to sit in the passenger seat or even in the back seat. Our priority is to focus on the reality that we want to create, the world that we want to live in, a world of peace, a world of abundance, a world of fairness, a world of where actually justice takes place. And we are on the threshold of that happening right now. I want you to know that our Heavenly Father has a plan for this earth and for humanity. He also has a plan for your individual life. And so this week, as you practice radical surrender, it is also a time for you to pray and ask God to align you with his highest plan for your life. And as you do that, you will be given inspired thought. As you receive those inspired thoughts, and it's important that you take the action steps when those come to you. And it's also a time for you to step out of the fear. If things get to be too much, it's important for you to go into the sacred space that you have created. 
it's important for you to step out of this world, step away from your problems and give yourself a break. That's why they asked you to create it at, during the first week of March is that sacred um, space is for you to retreat and take a respite from the stresses and burdens and challenges of your everyday life and to just give yourself a chance to breathe and come out from under all those things that are happening right now. The most important thing is that Heavenly Father will not um, leave you in the lurch. He's not going to let the rug be pulled out from under you. He will always provide you a way. He is the source of your supply and he is your support. He and our Savior and your guardian angels and your spirit guides and your family members that are on the other side of the veil have your back. Trust and believe and have faith that they are walking with you. The veil is thinning as we speak. Time is accelerating and we are going through a quickening right now as things are happening. Things are picking up. And so, again, it is important for you to, it's hard, I know it's hard, to practice radical surrender and allow them to guide and direct your life. Uh, I promise you that we are about ready to step into a new age, a golden age, an age of love and light and peace. And we just have to get through this bumpy time. Remember, Spirit said that the bumpy time is going to be this spring, March, April, May, and into June. And then starting into summer and going into the fall, things are going to shift and Things are going to start looking and getting better for all of us. And so what they want you to do is focus on your life, focus on your relationships, and focus on the things that are your priorities, your goals, and your dreams. Now, you have the power to visualize in your mind's eye of what those are. And that sacred space is going to be the place where you can get as clear as you possibly can to focus on those details and to communicate with our Heavenly Father about the things that you would like to experience and the blessings that you would like to have and the blessing that you want to be. Remember, you are very special and you are here on purpose for a purpose and that purpose will be revealed to you in your sp sacred space as you have your sacred communications within, talking with your higher self, having your higher self remind you of why you're here and how you can help and what you can do. You are a beloved son and daughter of the Most High God, and they want to partner with you and walk with you in your life especially right now when we are so close to having everything change on behalf of humanity and the earth. I love you very much. I wish you the very best this week. And the affirmation I want to give you this week is I am loved and supported by God. I am loved and supported by God. I am loved and supported by God. And that's the mainly the only affirmation I have for you this week. Another thing you might wanna say as I'm getting something right now is that everything is unfolding for my greatest advantage. Everything is unfolding for my greatest advantage. Everything is unfolding for my greatest advantage. Know that God wants only the very best for you. I wish you the very best this week. I love you, I appreciate you. If I can be of service to you through coaching or healing, 
please email me at hello at soyolair.com. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye.